I'm very proud of our Christmas tree. You should be. It's good. Mommy? Yes, my dear. Before we eat, can I give Daddy his Christmas present for me? What now? Mm -hmm. I am a firm believer in only presents just as soon as they arrive. <laughs> you always were like that, Tiffany. Uh, okay, Mommy? Maybe you should ask your father. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. That's too natural. Have a nice day. Daddy? Hmm? Can I give you a present now? I, for one, would be very, very happy to have my present right now. Great. There you go. Mm. This looks like something in our round special. <laughs> I saved up for it, didn't I, Mommy? Yes, she saved up. She worked very hard for the extra money. Mm. No idea what it could be. No. Even if you shake it or squeeze it, we'll never find out what it is. Then let's have a look. Whoa. Good Lord. Oh. 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 Hey, you guys, come on before the boobies all gone. Hurry up. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, you are. Thank you. Are you happy? Yeah. 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 Anna. Yes. Yeah. I'm puzzled about something. Are we going to do that? The look on Robert's face when Robin gave him his present. Yeah. He had that same look when I gave him my gift before we got here. <laughs> what did you give him? A tie bar with a sprig of poly on it. Oh, I see. Um, what do you mean, Lucy? Do, do you know what's bothering you? Um, well, Holly, that was the name of his wife. And, uh, well, she died in the first Christmas that he spent without her. What's that? What's that? Ladies what? and gentlemen, the first appearance ever of Mrs. Santa Claus. Oh! oh. oh. Good, good. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is the story about the first Christmas, almost 2,000 years ago. It's also the story of a very special baby, a baby named Jesus, and where and how it all started. It was a bitter cold winter night when the wind was blowing so hard it made tears come to your eyes. And on that very night, a young couple was traveling on their way to Bethlehem. They were very cold and very tired. The man was a carpenter named Joseph, and his wife Mary was going to have a baby. Finally, after miles and miles of travel, Joseph saw a dim light. It was an inn. And Joseph thought if he could get Mary out of the cold and rest a while, maybe she would be all right. Unfortunately, the inn was full. They had no room for them. Maybe that's when Joseph got this brilliant idea about staying in the stable. He figured at least it would be warm there. And if he could get Mary out of the cold and rest a while, maybe she would still be all right. They went to the stable. It was warm in there all right, but very crowded with animals. So crowded that it looked as if Mary and Joseph might not be able to squeeze in. But then a very strange thing happened. All of the animals moved over to make room for Mary. Joseph got some fresh straw and fixed a bed for Mary. She lay down, and then a hush came over the stable. Tomorrow's program of General Hospital was preempted stateside. In its place, we'll present the drama True Confessions, tomorrow at 1.20 on AFN. The baby was born. They named him Jesus, and he grew up to teach us that there's good in all of us no matter what has happened in the past. He also taught us to love each other and to forgive each other, too. That's what this day is all about, the all-forgiving spirit of Christmas. Is that cookie? Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.